this question says work out the volume of the triangular prism that's for this and this other question says work out the volume of the prism this is a prism too so this will take us to a topic i titled volume of prisms volume of prisms now before we talk about volume of prisms we have to take some things into consideration now when we are when we are calculating a vo for volume of prisms rather when we are calculating volume of prisms we have to bear something in mind that is b times h what's our b b is not the base i used to know b is the area of the base actually when you want to name a prism for example this prism now we are told that it's a triangular prism they've told us that this is the base the triangular side is the base okay if we are told that it's a rectangular prism it will mean that the re rectangle part is the base if we are told that it's a square prism it will mean that the square part is a base actually a square prism is, is even a cube and a rectangular prism is a cuboid anyways but if we are told that this is okay or a cuboid is a type of a rectangular prism and a cube is a type of square prism but anyways if we are told that this part or this prism is a triangular prism we know that the triangle is the base then same thing if you notice in this one we're not told when when the pre the type of prism was not called why because it's even a kind of complex shape okay the, the complex part of the shape is the one that is the base that's why when it wasn't given a name but anyway let's go ahead so for the volume of the prism it will have to be base times height okay okay now for this base we're going to calculate the or for the base area b this capital b is the base area small b is base okay now b capital b representing base area means that we're going to calculate the base area okay then we'll now multiply by the heights given so using that now let's look at this question we're told that the triangular prism so the triangle is basically the base okay so calculating the area of that triangle we can see that it's a right angle triangle we can see that it's a right angle triangle so the area is going to be half base times height okay then times the height of the prism that's the one now 20 centimeters so now putting the whole values we have half times the base of this is four times the height is three okay then times the height of the prison is 20 so we have two cancels out this is two two times three is six six times 20 is 120 so we have 120 centimeter cube as the volume okay now let's use it and calculate the volume of the second prism now looking at this prism now we see that this is the base okay and this is the height of the prism now to do that we have to calculate the area of this base now drawing something like this okay we are told that the whole of this is seven that's from here to here is seven we are told that the whole of this is nine that's from here to here is nine. We are told that this from here to here is two centimeters. We are told that from here to here is four centimeters. Okay. Now, to find out the area of this shape, now we have to divide it into two. One should be up and the other one down. Okay. Now, since we are told that this to this is two centimeters, and here to here is seven centimeters that means here to here is going to be five centimeters and here to here will be two centimeters okay because it's the same line that we are drawing so to calculate the area of this shape now it's going to be four times five plus this is two and this is nine two times nine this is more like a rectangle on its own and this is a rectangle on its own so we we'll have 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 times 9 is 18 which is 38 so the B is 38 that's the area of the base 
sheep okay now the area of the prism area of prism will now be this b times height of the prism b is 38 and the height of the prism as was showed is 10 here so 10 which is going to give us 380 centimeters cubed so that's how you handle volume of prism no matter the kind of prism it is you just find out the area base area of the shape of the base and then multiply it by the height of the prism then you'll be able to get the area the, the volume of the prism